Amen. 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 I'd like to say a gracious good morning to each and every one of you on this beautiful Sunday morning. Amen. Praising our Almighty God in the name of His Son Jesus that He has allowed us to come together. One more time. Amen. This is my first time being here. Although I've been knowing Pastor Brian for a number of years. Amen. 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 But I can say that I'm glad to be here. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. So we are not going to prolong the time. We're going to ask that you will lift up your voices and sing as we attempt to line hymn 46 in this book. All right. The hymn writer writes, What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. Yeah. What a privilege he is to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. 
Have we trials and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful? Who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we tried and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? Have we tried and temptation? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. We should never be so faithful who will all our sorrow share can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrow share Jesus knows our every weakness Take it to the Lord in prayer. Jesus knows I am ready. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Lord. our heads bowed Lord, and our hearts home. Father, we want to thank you, Master, for your grace Lord, and your mercy. Father, we thank you for mercy, Jesus who died on the cross for Lord, all of our sins to be forgiven. And because of that, Master, we just want to say thank you. Father, we come before you at this time and at this moment 
It is a privilege, Master, to be able to stand in your presence this day. We thank you, Master, for life as well as it is. We thank you, Master, for all the households that is represented in your house this morning, Master. We thank you, Father, for your traveling grace this morning, Master. Because we know that a lot could have happened between here and there. But because of your mercy, Master, and your grace, you have allowed us to arrive to this place just one more time. So we say thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for this church family. We thank you for the pastor and the man of God that you have so lovingly and so kindly placed before us, Master. That acts that you continue to fill him up, Master. You continue to so crowd his head with a, with a crown of wisdom, Master. And Father, we just pray so that you continue to guide and direct him. We pray for his wife, Father. We ask that you continue to allow her to be a, a helpmate to her husband. We know that the commission that you have given them, Master, is a great one. And with faithfulness, Father, they carry it out day and day. So we're just asking you to continue to strengthen each and every one in your ministry. Father, we thank you for all the, 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 the members that are here among us today. Father, we thank you for our friends that have traveled far to be with us this morning. And Master, we thank you for our senior saints that are present. And Father, we thank you for those ones that are sick and shut in today, Father. Thank you for those ones that have given their life and dedicated their hearts to you, Father, throughout their lives. So I ask, Master, that you just continue to just strengthen them in the way in which they should go. Thank you, Father, for the children that we have in our lives, Father. Continue, Father, to allow us to be guide to be guide to guide them, Father, in your wisdom. Father, give us the strength to be able to teach and guide those young ones in order that they may continue to hold fast to your unchanging word. Father, we thank you for if you call just being the God that you are, Father. The God that you are, Master. You have you have been more. You have been if good to us, Father, better than we can even be good to ourselves. He will even though, Father, we, mis we make mistakes on a day-to-day -day basis, we sin against you, Father. But you being the Father that you are, you continue to give us, forgive us. You continue to bless us, Father, beyond measure. And we just want to say thank you. And now, Father, as we come before you to ask your guidance and your blessings to be upon this service this morning, Father. We thank you in advance for the visitation of the Holy Spirit, Father. And ask, Father, that as your Holy Spirit continue to move throughout this sanctuary, we ask that, you, that we may respond to you as you wish us to do. And now, Father, we just pray for the forgiveness where we have fallen short of thy great and holy name, Master. We ask that you give us the love and the encouragement in our hearts to forgive one another, Master. And Father, give us the strength to be able to look at ourselves and say, I forgive you. And now, Father, we just pray once again and we thank you for all that you have done. In the mighty, mighty name of Jesus, we do pray and we give you thanks. And everybody in the sanctuary said, Amen. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. And everything gonna be alright. Why don't you hold on just a little while longer? Hold on. Just a little while longer, hold on, just a little while longer, and longer, and everything gonna be alright. Why don't you sing on, just a little while longer, sing on. Just a little while longer, sing on. Just a little while longer, and everything gonna be alright. Why don't you pray on? Just a little while longer, pray on. Just a little while longer, pray on. Just a little while longer And everything gonna be alright Why don't you give on 
just a little while longer. Give on just a little while longer. Give on just a little while longer. And everything gonna be alright. Why don't you serve on just a little while longer? Serve on. Just a little while longer, serve on. Just a little while longer, and everything's gonna be alright. Why don't you moan on? Just a little while longer, moan on. Just a little while longer, moan on. Just a little while longer, and everything's gonna be alright. Why don't you love on? Just a little while longer, love on. Just a little while longer, love on. Just a little while longer, and everything's gonna. Be alright. Why don't you live on just a little while longer? Live on just a little while longer. Live on just a little while longer. And everything's gonna be alright. Why don't you hold on? Just a little while longer. Hold on. Just a little while longer. Hold on. Just a little while longer. And everything's gonna be alright. Amen. Amen. Hold on, church. Just a little while longer. And everything gonna be all right. Long as we keep our hand in the master's hand, the one who's able to make everything all right. Amen. 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 We truly enjoy the spirit and prayer for devotion and service. Amen. We're glad to be here. Glad to hear every one of you singing with uplifted voice. Singing like you glad to be here. And like the Lord has been good to you. Amen. Realizing that he has brought us from a mighty long way. Amen. 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 We're going to turn it over to the next phase of the program. Pull up here in the choir. Have to pray sometimes. I have to pray sometimes. 
to worship this morning, if you're able and don't mind it, would you please stand for the responsive reading in the back of the new hymnal, in the back of the new hymnal. Reverend, Reverend Vera Spears is coming, amen, for the responsive reading, for the responsive reading. Amen. If you're able and don't mind it, would you please stand? What, what's the number? In the back of the new hymn, 592. 592. If you need a hymn, raise your hand. 592. Let us hear Reverend Vera.
I believe that today. Jesus said, you can lean on me. I heard Jesus said, you can just lean on me. I'll bear your burden if you just lean on me. Tried me out. I know how to bear your burden if you just lean on me. Jesus said, You can just lean on me. I won't let you fall if you just lean. Just lean on me. Jesus said you can. Oh, now Jesus said you can. Oh, Jesus said you can. Oh, I don't let you fall. If you just lean. Just a minute. 
Amen. Hallelujah. God be the glory. What an awesome, what an awesome. Amen. Come on, brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. First of all, I'd like to uh, glorify God, the Father, Jesus, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. the preachers and their wives, the choir, the deacon, deaconess, and the whole congregation. Okay, this not going to be long, but we can't risk go away. Okay, I'm part of the choir, anyway. <clears throat> okay, I'd like to sing this hymn. Come on, in my room. Hey, hey, hey. Come on in the room. <laughs> Jesus is my doctor. It is. I know. 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 I Yes, sir. God be the glory. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus said, if you be ashamed to own me among men, yeah. Amen. I'll be ashamed to own you before my Father. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank the Lord for each of you. As we come in to worship, thank Deacon Fowler, amen, amen. And Brother Gross for the devotion, yeah. amen. Thank the Lord for, amen, this choir, yeah. Zion Grove Choir, amen, yeah. where Reverend Roderick Fowler is the pastor, amen. amen. We greet each of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To our guest preacher for this morning, amen, Reverend Roderick Fowler. Reverend, we are delighted, we're delighted to have you. Amen. Reverend, Reverend Robert Spear says the only requirement is that you have to preach. Amen. Amen. God be the glory. Amen. True. Amen. Visiting preacher that's under the auspices of Reverend Fowler, to Reverend Porter. And to Reverend Porter's wife. Amen. Hallelujah to Sister Fowler. Amen. She just introduced herself. Amen. Yeah. That, that's yeah. powerful song. Thank yeah. the Lord for it. Yeah. To New Providence preachers, to Vera Spear, Robert Spear, Sonia Green, and Hernando Carrezas. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. To the deacons of this church and to the visiting deacons, thank the Lord for each of you. Amen. Amen. To my wife. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. To the mother of this church. Yeah. Amen. To this choir. Amen. Amen. But more importantly, to you that occupy the pews. We thank you so much for thanking it not wrong, but to come and share in our worship on this, our Lord's Day. Amen. We greet you and amen. Prayerfully, prayerfully, you'll leave with a different spirit than when you enter. Amen. amen. As we continue to worship together. I've already asked Maimon, amen, to do the welcoming. If you're having a problem standing up, I'll send you the mic. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. To our pastor, Reverend Dr. Rose. Reverend Brian, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all in love. <laughs> to our platform guest. To the choir. To Sister Brown. Yeah, I know he did this at the spell of the moment, last minute, but I don't mind. Amen. 
It's an honor and a privilege to welcome you here to New Providence Baptist Church, where I've been here a long time. But I don't mind because I'm working for the man up above, and I want to make it in. But I want to tell y'all that you're welcome to sing, shout, and whatever the Spirit leads you to do, do it and have a good time because we come to serve the Lord. And that's all we're here to do. So whatever you feel like doing, kick off your shoes, just have a good time. And I say you are welcome once, welcome twice. You're welcome to do whatever you feel like doing, but just do it in the name of the Lord because our doors are always open. We have Sunday school every Sunday. And we have church every Sunday. So if you ain't doing nothing, come back again. Because we got an awesome man of God. And yeah. he will preach the word. Yes, sir. He preaches and teaches. And you come back. Anytime. You are welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Davis, for, for the welcome. Amen. Amen. As we continue to worship together. Um, if you got any announcement, would you get them to Deacon Gross as he come for the announcements? Good afternoon, church. Good afternoon. Dr. Brown. Just have a few reminders. Uh, upcoming events here at New Providence. On July the 13th at 1 p.m., we have uh, very, very much stressed this since we first announced it. It is very important that you get your business in order. Uh, we will have presentations from uh, Attorney Jamari Ship from the Law Officers of Ship, a grief counselor. Uh, we have uh, RN Director from Chris County Regional Hospice, and I can't pronounce that word, so I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> uh, Mr. Ship's funeral home as well as Sister Carrie White, which is a licensed clinical social worker. And the reason and the purpose for this is, once again, to get your business in order. Final preparation to make sure that your, um, your final expenses are taken care of, that your loved ones don't have to have that burden, things such as a will, uh, life insurance, things of that nature. So please, please come on out, spread the word. July the 13th at 1 p.m. here at the church. We welcome you and we feel like that this is very important not only to the members of New Providence, for the entire community. So please come out. New Mount Zion Baptist Church, our neighbors right down the street are inviting us to their annual uh, revival, July the 16th and 17th uh, at 7 p.m. Pastor Christopher Douglas will be the speaker for the occasion. The theme for this year's revival is gaining what can't be lost. That's a good one. Gaining what can't be lost uh, at New Mount Zion Baptist Church, six, the July the 16th and 17th at 7 p.m. Pastor Christopher Douglas will be their guest evangelist. The Congress of Christian Education, July 19th through the 20th at 9 p.m here at New Providence Missionary Baptist Church. We have a host of speakers and there will be education classes for the adults and for the children. Our very own uh, host will be our very own uh, Dr. Marvin Brown, pastor of New Providence Missionary Baptist Church. So please, if you can, thank you. If you can, July the 19th and 20th at 9 p.m. here at New Providence Missionary Baptist Church, the Congress Christian Congress of Christian Education. Zion Hope Missionary Baptist Church Annual Church Revival, Monday through Wednesday, July 29th through the 31st. Um, Pastor Terrence Singleton, Greater Mount Moriah Baptist Church of Tifton, Georgia, will be delivering the word. New Providence, listen up. <laughs> Tuesday, July the 30th is our night that they're asking us to come and uh, worship with them to be a part of the, uh, the service. July the 30th, that's, it, that's on a Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. That's once again Zion Hope Missionary Baptist Church, their annual revival, 
July 29th through the 31st. That's Monday through Wednesday, and they are asking New Providence to be a part of service on July the 30th. That's a Tuesday night at 7.30. Do I have any more announcements? Reverend Green. Thank you. Sister Young. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be in the bed too at 9 p.m. So. <laughs> 9 a.m. I'm sorry. July the 19th and 20th, 9 a.m. Thank you. For, thank you, sister. <laughs> Don't have to be perfect for Jesus, but thank you, sister. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> That's all right. Friday at 11.30, if you can remember or if you was in this church during the pastorings of Reverend J.J. Johnson. I'm, I'm asking you to meet, will you meet with his family Friday at 11.30 a.m. here at the church. Um, Reverend, Reverend Spears, Reverend the Lower Spears, amen, is Reverend Johnson's daughter. Those that's in attendance, she promised to feed you. So if you was here or if you just want to, amen, come and meet them. I know some people that was here during Reverend Johnson's tenure. So would you, if you can, and you're not busy Friday morning at 11.30 a.m., would you please, amen, join us amen, in meeting with Reverend Johnson's family, the late Reverend Johnson's family, amen. Today is our dedication day, and I'm going to try not to talk so much and just do what I get up to do, amen, so we won't be so long in, in worship, amen. The Lord adds to the church daily as such that she'll be saved. We're waiting. We've got three candidates to be baptized, brother, as soon as we can get to that point. I've already taken two in to our fellowship. Amen. Deacon Larry Staff. Amen. Deacon Brian, would you present this to Deacon Larry Staff? Amen. That's a certificate of membership. I got that. Amen. Thank you for... Amen. The line of spirit to lead you to become part of our, our church family. We have one other one for the president, my president, I think. Amen. Sister Jessica Rogers. Amen. She was also a member of the church. Amen. Amen. The other thing I need to do is to dedicate, amen, those, those things that the Lord has blessed the church with. Amen. amen. We can't take it lightly. <coughs> But I do pray that you're, you're where you can follow, amen, by having a copy that says dedication, this plain sheet of paper. Um, and we are going to dedicate to the Lord those things that he has blessed this church, amen, to make our ministry a little easier. Amen? Amen. amen. So if you join with me. You will join with me. God is in the blessing business. All right. I'm going to introduce Amen. Father, in the name of the Father, Son, and link to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. At the end of these dedication, I'm going to ask Deacon Bryant if he would be kind enough to do a, a prayer of dedication. Today, we gather around this which, through God's goodness, has come at last into our possession. We thank God for it and pray that it may be used entirely for his glory. If there be any ulterior motives of selfishness, covetousness, or materialism in our heart, 
we pray, amen. We pray to the Almighty God that it will be dissolved now and forever. As we stand before God, proud of these items which he has blessed us with. We do so to dedicate it to his glory, to his service, and to his church. May it ever be a reminder to us of the goodness of God, of many unmerited favors that he has through his grace bestowed upon us. May we be forever mindful that not of our own strength have we gotten these precious items, which we have long yearned for. God, amen, has seen fit through his grace to grant these items, amen, for his glory, to be used for his glory and his honor. You should have a sheet of paper in your hand that says, amen, dedication from Psalms 21 and 4. If you'll give me a minute to turn to Psalm 21 and 4. And I will read that passage. I will read that verse. And here's what that verse says. I'm sorry, that should be 27. Psalms 27. I got 21, but it should be 27, if you'll forgive me. And then Psalms 27 and verse 4. Psalms 27 and verse 4 said, one thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. That should be 27 and 4. We dedicate these items to the glory and the honor of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm going to read the bold print, and I'm going to ask... Amen. If you are able and don't mind it, would you stand with us since this is a responsive reading? I read the bold print and ask that you read, amen, the light print. Amen. I read, I read the dark print. These are the items that God has blessed us with that we need to dedicate to his glory and his honor. The fence and the gate. The marquee. To the world of coming events with the recommendation to your the Lord. The public address system and all its attachment to include the cameras. Those men may hear the word of the deeds. New computers. We have a petition and training. The Sam light. That portion of the parking lot that's new. To make the parking lot more convenient for everyone that decides to park on this holy ground. Amen. Amen. You may be seated just before Deacon Bryant, amen, come to do a prayer of dedication. Let me just say to you, all of Providence preachers, three of Providence preachers will have the titles of pastor, beginning with Reverend Sonia Green, who is, she's already youth pastor. Amen. I designate her, amen, as youth pastor. Vera Spears and Robert Spears will be designated as associate pastors. I've got two more preachers that I need to assign, amen, uh, as soon as I can meet with them on a regular basis. Amen. We dedicate all of these to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Deacon Brian is going to do the prayer dedication. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power, and glory forever. The Heavenly Father, we want to dedicate these items to you, the Heavenly Father. For they are not ours anyway, the Heavenly Father. Everything that, that we have is yours, the Heavenly Father. We are all on borrowed time, and we all are using your substance, the Heavenly Father. We want to make sure that we realize the Heavenly Father, but we can't do nothing and we won't be nothing without you and your glory, the Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings, the Heavenly Father. 
Please, Lord, most of all, dedicate our hearts to Heavenly Father so that we may be able to go out into your world to Heavenly Father and draw men, women, children, boys, and girls to Heavenly Father unto you to Heavenly Father. Let the word go into our heart, into our minds, into our souls to Heavenly Father so that you people may see you in us to Heavenly Father. We dedicate our service to Heavenly Father for the service that we do, Lord, we render more people unto you to Heavenly Father. Then let people see your glory through our works to Heavenly Father. Please, Lord, continue to help us grow in faith to Heavenly Father and help us grow in love to Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. 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 Thank you. Thank each of you for taking part in as we continue to dedicate these things that God has blessed the church with. Amen. amen. He expects you and me to take care of them and to use them for his glory and his honor. As I said in the dedication, not to be lifted up in pride, or anything to brag about, but that God's goodness has showered once again his favor on this church. Amen. Amen. As we continue to worship, amen. If you stand in need of prayer, I'm going to ask you to come to the altar, or you can stand where you are. Reverend Paul, do you feel like doing altar prayer? Sir, you feel like doing altar prayer? Okay, would you please stand? Please stand or you can come to the altar, whichever suits you. Uh, Reverend Porter is out of Reverend Fowler's church, and he's going to do our altar prayer this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. All right. Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. Thank you. Mm. Lord Jesus, you said in your word, when we pray, come out to this matter. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy holy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is already done in heaven. Lord, you said, give us this day. Yes, mm -hmm. Our daily bread. Yes. And will you forgive our debtors yes, as we forgive those yes. that sin and trespass yes. against us? Yes. Oh Lord, lead us not into temptation, yes. but will you deliver us from all yes. things yes. that you sell sinful, rude, and evil? Yes. For thine is your kingdom, yes. the power, and the glory. Yes. Father God, we are standing around the throne of grace, O oh God. O oh Lord, touching and agreeing in the spirit, O oh God. That, Lord, we are petitioning our prayers to you right now, Lord. Some, some, somebody right now, Lord, is, is, is battling sickness, O oh God. Some family members that are standing around the throne, Lord, have got sick members in their families, O oh God. And then the Lord, they're calling upon you, Lord. Right now. Uh, uh, they remember, Jesus, when you said, ask, and we shall receive. Yeah. Seek, and we yeah. shall find. Yeah. Knock, and yeah. the door will be opened unto us, Lord. Yeah. So, so, Lord, we remember that you said that, oh, Lord. Right. But, Lord, you put emphasis on it. Yeah. You say, he that asks it, receive it. He that seek it, find it. He that knock it, the door will be open, O oh Lord. But Lord, I'm reminded in your word what you say. If my people, which are called by my name, humble themselves, seek your face, pray, and turn from their wicked way. You say, then you will hear from heaven. You'll forgive the sin, and you will hear the land, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, we're standing on your promises right now. All those that are petitioning prayers, oh God. Yeah. It might not be sickness, oh God. 
They may need a breakthrough, oh God. Lord, they may need their husband to act right. The husband may need the wife to act right. The parents may need their children to act right. But Lord, we're turning it over to you right now, Lord. Right now, Lord, we're turning it over to you. Because we know that all things, not some things, but all things are possible through Christ Jesus. We're strengthening us, Lord. Jesus, I'm reminded when you said, whatsoever we ask in faith, believing, Lord, that it'll be done. And then, Lord, you said, whatsoever we ask the Father in your name, Lord, that, that, that it'll be done. But what I like about what you said, oh God, you say if we abide in you and your word abide in us, that's you, Lord. If you abide in us, ask what we will and it'll be done unto us, Lord. We ask in your Father to help us to be kingdom builders, oh God. We're asking you, Father, help us to be an example of you, oh God. We ask in your Lord to help us to edify the body of Christ, Lord. Oh Lord, you made us and not ourselves, oh God. So we're asking you to look on the deacons, the deaconesses, the ushers, the choir members, the musicians, the motherboard, oh God, in all the churches that are assembling your name, oh God. I pray right now, Lord, that you will let Pastor Fowler down in your storehouse of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That he will break the bread of life to us, oh God, and open our hearts to receive your word, oh God. Because if we receive it and conceive it, oh God, there come birth, Lord. Oh Lord, the only way the woman can have birth is if she conceive, oh God. Lord, we ask you to help us to conceive your word so that we can bring birth to this world, oh God, and lead your people in the right direction, Lord. Lord, last but not least, don't forget about the sick and shut in. The less fortunate, those that are hungry and homeless, the prostitutes, the drug addicts, the alcoholics, oh God. Those in the jail facility, behind behind prison doors, oh God. And those that don't even think you exist, oh God. Lord, we ask in your Lord to have mercy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
God has blessed you. We give you the opportunity now to give back to him Amen. some of that which he has blessed you with Amen. through tithes and offering. Amen. Amen. The ushers are coming. And as the ushers come, I'm going to ask Reverend Carithers to be prepared to offer prayer to the offering. Reverend, you got it? Okay. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you in the most ominous way, Lord, that we know how, Lord. Lord, we want to thank you for this offering, Lord, and thank you for everyone that gave, Lord, and had a desire to give, Lord. We ask that you use this offering for the edification and build up of your kingdom. We ask these in all blessings in your son Jesus' name. Let every heart say amen, amen, amen. 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 We prepare our hearts for preaching. Amen. God has blessed us this morning with a dynamic young preacher. One, one that I've known for some time. Amen. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, I might have been the one that, amen, on day installed, amen, at Zion, at Zion Grove. Amen. He's a pastor. He's a pastor. He's a busy pastor. Pastor Grant, Zion Grove Baptist Church of Darty County and St. Peter, amen, Baptist Church of Calhoun County. Amen. He is, he's married. Amen. Y'all heard his wife. Amen. Amen. So smile. Amen. God be the glory. We're blessed to have him come along with him. Amen. He brought Deacon Fowler. Amen. Amen. And some of the members and this powerful choir. Amen. Amen. Reverend Fowler is a recent graduate of Albany State University. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together. Amen. But beyond all of that, out of all that he has accomplished, out of all that he does, God has anointed him to preach. Amen. Amen. So as he come before us, amen, to preach the unadulterated Amen. Word of God. Yes. I ask, amen, of you for him, your amen. And if you don't have an amen, I ask for your attention. Amen. As Reverend Fowler prepare to come before us, we're going to ask this powerful choir to sing once again. Following the choir, 
would be none other than Reverend Roderick Fowler.
Amen. I can hear myself. Amen. Amen. We give honor to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit today. We honor this decorated platform. Amen. Minister Porter and his first lady. Amen. Pastor Brown and Sister Brown. Good to see you, Sister Brown. Amen. Reverend uh, Spears Amen. and his wife, Reverend Spears. Amen. Amen. To my friend in the gospel, Brother Carithers. Amen. Amen. And my classmate, Amen, Reverend Green. Amen. We honor these choir that sang it so sweet today. We honor these ushers that are so dutiful on their post. But most of all, I want to, amen, I almost forgot. I honor my wife. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. I'm off on a good start now. Amen. Amen. But most of all, I want to honor this awaiting congregation. Grace and peace be unto each and every one of you from God our Father. And our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you glad to be alive today? Amen. Amen. God has smiled on us yet once again. Amen. And listen, there's a very urgent message today. Amen. Let us go to the third chapter of the book of Hebrews. Uh, and... We're going to start around about verse 7. Again, that's the third chapter of the book of Hebrews, beginning at verse 7. third chapter of the book of Hebrews, beginning at verse 7. Amen. I still hear some pages, but we all find it. Say amen. Amen. Yes, amen. In the book of Hebrews and the third chapter, beginning at verse 7, the scripture read like this. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost said, today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, right. as in the provocation, uh -huh. in the day of temptation, in the wilderness, mm -hmm. when your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years. Yes. Wherefore, I was grieved with that generation somebody say that generation. that generation and said they do always err in their heart and they have not known my ways so I swear in my wrath they shall not enter into my rest take heed brethren lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. All right. But exhort one another daily yes, yes. while it is called today. That's right. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ uh -huh. if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast yes. unto the end. While it is said today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation. Amen. Amen. May God add a blessing to all of the readers and all of the doers of his most holy and precious word. And from this 15th verse where it reads, why it is said today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts 
as in the provocation. We want to use for our subject today, today is the day. <laughs> Amen. Today. Amen. 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 We know it's Sunday. Amen. I think there's a couple of WNBA games on this afternoon. And some of us have plans to cook and eat today. Um, today, some of us will start getting ready because we got to go to work tomorrow. But the scripture also reminds us that today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation. Listen, a wise man once faced a group of people who were complaining about the same issues over and over again. One day, instead of listening to the complaints, he told them a joke, and everybody cracked up laughing. Then, the man repeated the joke. A few people smiled. Finally, the man repeated the joke a third time, but no one reacted. The man smiled and said, you won't laugh at the same joke more than once. So what are you getting from continuing to complain about the same problem? Amen. Uh, you're not going to get anywhere if you keep complaining about the same thing and do nothing to fix it. Why do we allow the same fears to interrupt our faith? Why do we keep leaning to our own understanding and not acknowledging God? Why is it that we keep on working for the wages of sin and reject the gift of God? Amen. Which is eternal life. Amen. So I stopped by to tell you, New Providence, that today is the day. Uh, listen, this, this book of Hebrews written to a group of Hebrew believers. <clears throat> Understand these believers that the unknown author was writing to, uh -huh. they were up under intense persecution. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not only were they up under intense persecution yes, because of their faith, but they were also under strong pressure. And this pressure was to cast aside their identity with Christ. Therefore, this unknown author, when he wrote the book of Hebrews, his main message is that Jesus is better or superior to anything. Even though believers are tempted to fall back into, and non-believers are well, are tempted to hold on to anything yes, sir. Yes, sir. other than put their trust in Christ. Won't y'all say amen? amen. amen. But like I said, today is the day. All right. Amen. Hearts can be changed. Yes, Outlooks can be made different. Yes, Situation will be better. All right. All right. But there's one thing that's needful. Uh -huh. You need to respond in the right way. Amen. When you hear the voice of the Lord. Uh, we do so much complaining. But can I tell you when we complain, it proves that we have a lack of faith. Amen. Whatever the situation is, you got to believe that God is still in control. A amen, a a amen, amen. Uh, 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 things may get tough sometimes. Life may get rough sometimes. Amen. But but I declare 
right before all of you today that God is in the blessing business. He will make a way out of no way. Won't he do it, y'all? He will bring mountains down low. He will make crooked ways straight. He'll even make your enemies be at peace with you. You may not have any money in your pocket, but God will put bread on your table. Amen. You may not have any earthly friends, but Christ is a friend. Amen. That stick closer than a brother. You may lay up late at night sometimes, crying about this and crying about that. But I stopped by to tell you that Jesus, amen, is a late night, amen, company keeper, amen. You can talk to him, amen. You can tell him everything, amen, that's on your heart, amen. So I'll stop by today. Today is the day. If you hear the voice of the Lord, amen, I'm warning you not to harden your heart. <laughs> These Hebrews. Amen. Uh, the unknown author makes it known or brought to their remembrance the day of provocation, uh -huh. which was the rebellion. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, this unknown author let it be known that when your forefathers were down in Egypt uh -huh. and they cried out to the father yes, sir. Yes, sir. by reason of their taskmaster. Yes. I stopped by to tell you that God heard their cry. But, but I want you to understand that God doesn't work the way we work. In order for us to understand who he is, amen, before he brought them out, he hardened Pharaoh's heart. Amen. So that he would prove that I am, amen, who I am. Amen. And so he brought them up out of Egypt. And God did so many miraculous things. Amen. Because he's a God of mercy. He's a God of love. He's able to look beyond our faults. Amen. And see exactly what we need. Listen, that all the things that he did. Uh, Y'all know the story when Egypt... When Israel got up out of Egypt and when they found themselves at the Red Sea and Pharaoh's army was around them and the hills to the left and hills to the right and the Red Sea in front of them. Amen. God opened up the Red Sea. Y'all don't hear me now. Amen. To let his children come through. But he did not stop there. When Pharaoh's army got in the Red Sea, the Bible said he caused the wheels of the chariot to come off. Yes, Amen. And the chariot sank <laughs> in the Red Sea. Yes. Amen. And then when Israel came out of the Red Sea, yes. Amen, he closed the Red Sea. Yes. Amen. On Pharaoh's army. Yes. Amen. What he done for others, right. he'll do the same thing for you. <laughs> Listen. They were out there in that wilderness. There was a time, amen, when they went in to drink the water and the water was bitter. God showed Moses a tree. Cast that tree into water and caused the water to be sweet. Again, when they got hungry, God rained down manna from heaven. He was so good to them that he gave them bread in the morning. And amen, and fed them quails in the evening. Ain't God all right, y'all? I'm telling you, we serve a good God. Amen, he's been better to us than what we've been to ourselves. The scripture said it is he that has brought us. And amen, not ourselves. One of the psalmists said that if it had not 
been for the Lord. Amen. That was on our side. Amen. I think about, amen, going to combat across the water and the things that I've seen and the things that I experienced. I can now stand before you and tell you that if it had not been for the Lord, amen, that was on my side. Amen. I just wouldn't be standing here before you today. Amen. But what I told you, what he done for others. Amen. He'll do the same thing for you. There was, there was another situation when, amen, Israel got thirsty. Amen. They told Moses and Moses, amen, went before the Lord and God instructed Moses to just speak to the rock. Amen. Uh, Moses smote the rock and Amen. Water came gushing out. Yeah. Amen. God would do anything for his people. Yeah. But out of all these cases, amen, the people of Israel would always complain. Yeah. They would complain, amen, why did you bring us out here to die? Yeah. Amen. We'd have been better off if you let us go back, amen, to Egypt. Yeah. Amen. And, but God was good to them. Do y'all understand how good he was? Yeah. Amen. He was so good that, amen, as they traveled through the wilderness, yeah. amen, God showed himself in a pillar of clouds in the daytime. And, oh, yeah. and he showed himself in a pillar of fire yeah. by night. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He was so good to them that one time when Pharaoh's army was right behind him, God moved the clouds. Yeah. Amen. And put it behind Israel. And amen. And the cloud, amen, caused it to be dark for Pharaoh's army, but he caused it to be light for Israel. Amen. That way, amen, Israel was able to move all night long. Amen. And Pharaoh's army couldn't do nothing about it. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. So why are we complaining? Why are we disgruntled? Why are we still singing a charge to keep our half? And amen, and don't speak the half of the people in church. Won't y'all say amen? But God said, today, if you will hear his voice, amen, harden not your heart, as in the provocation. Don't harden your heart. Amen. When it's time to love, you got to love. Amen. I don't care if you know him or if you don't know him. If it's time to forgive, then you need to forgive. Amen. If it's time to help, you better help. Amen. You better hear God when he speaks to you this day. Amen. We, are, we have gotten so comfortable, amen, with just going to church. Amen, but not being accountable for being in the church. Y'all hear what I'm saying? But today, if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. You see, when we harden our hearts, amen, we are rejecting God. Amen. And not only are we rejecting his commands, Amen. But part of this heart in our heart means to continue in sin. Amen. Because you think you can get away with it. Amen. Amen. Some people are doing the same thing because they have not got caught. But I stopped by to tell you the reason why you haven't got caught is because God has given you grace. Amen. But don't let the grace catch up with you. Once y'all say amen. Don't let the grace, don't let it catch up with you. So I hear this author, amen, in the book of Hebrews saying, if you hear his voice today, amen, you ought not to harden your heart. If you hear his voice today, amen, you ought to call on the name of Jesus. You ought to say, Lord, here I am. Amen. Send me, Lord. Amen. I will go. Amen. I was thinking about it today. Well, yesterday, uh, where my house sit, I'm about 
four miles from the hospital. About five miles, amen, from the police station. Uh, about another four miles from downtown where the social service is. But I'm just as far as way of getting down on my knees. Amen. And calling on Jesus. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. And I declare that Christ will respond in a much better way than what the hospital will respond. Amen. He'll do a whole lot more for you than what social service can do. He'll, he'll provide the security that you need that you can't get from the police station. Amen. He'll do all those things. Amen. But I stopped by to tell you that obedience, amen, is better than sacrifice. It's better than sacrifice, y'all. Oh, yeah, it's better. Amen. I'm glad that we're in the house of the Lord today. But, but obedience, amen, is, is where you see the change broken in people's lives. Amen. Obedience, y'all. Amen. Open up our blinded eyes and our deaf ears. Where we are able to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. And won't y'all say amen? So I stopped by to tell you that today is the day. Amen. That the Lord has made. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm glad about it. And amen. And if I hear the voice of the Lord, amen, I will obey. Amen. I've learned to put all my trust, amen, in the Lord today. Amen. One reason why I've learned to put my trust in him. Amen. The scripture has taught me, amen, through the word and through personal life experience. And that is with men, things are impossible. But with God, amen, all things. Won't y'all say amen? Amen. Look where he's brought us from. Amen. We don't, we don't have to let the winners up. We let them down when we want to be cool. Now, I want y'all to say amen. Amen. We make the money we desire to make. We pick the clothes we desire to wear. Amen. We got bread on our table. Amen. We have all that we need. So today, if you hear his voice, don't harm your heart. Amen, because God is calling right now, amen, for some uh, believers that's going to trust in his name. He's looking for some believers that's going to hold on to his unchanging hand. Amen, and I'm mighty glad, amen, that Jesus has already proved who he is. He met a man in Gadara. Amen, you might have heard him as a crazy man. But I stopped by to tell you when Christ got through with him. The report was he was sent down at the feet of Jesus. And not only was he sent down at the feet of Jesus, but he was clothed, amen, in his right mind. Ain't God good today, y'all. Amen, I'm glad. Amen, that one day while Jesus and his disciples was walking one day, somebody saw a young man who had been blind since, it was, since his birth. The question was, why is this man blind? Did his mama sin? Did his daddy sin? Did he sin? But I stopped by to tell you the way Jesus explained it. Sometimes our lives are interrupted by all kinds of trouble. Amen. But, but the reason why this happened is so that God can show up. Amen. And show up. Amen. In all of our lives. Amen. I'm glad that one day Jesus, amen, encountered a tree who had bad no fruit. And amen, and God desired to cut that tree down. Amen. But I heard Christ say, let it alone. Amen. And Jesus took a whole year to put dong all around that tree. Amen. And we come back the next year. Amen. On those uh, leaves on that tree, you're starting to see fruit pop out. Yeah. And amen. I'm glad that when Jesus deal with us, yeah. in, in order to get us in a productive state, yeah. amen, where we can please the master, yeah. God will put a little trouble around our house. Yeah. Let somebody talk about you every now and then. Yeah. Let the bills get a little tight every now and then. Amen. And then you'll be able to say, Lord, I trust you. 
I tried everything, yeah. And now here I am, Lord. I need you in my life right now, Father. Amen. But I'm glad that he's told me to stop by and tell you that today is the day, y'all. Amen. Harden not your heart. Are you glad about it today? You know, Jesus knew today was today when he got in the garden of Gethsemane. Amen. He could have gave up, amen, when his disciples refused to pray with him for just one hour. He could have gave up because he did not want, amen, to drink from that awful and bitter cup. Y'all know the story. He said, Lord, if it's possible, let this cup, let it pass by. Y'all know sometimes as a preacher, there's some times if the Lord would just let the cup pass by. Amen. Just seem like I would do better and be better. But I, I, I come to my senses like Jesus. I say, Lord, it's not my will. Let your will. Let it be done, Father. It's something about when the Father's will is done. Amen. Somebody will come saying, I yield, I yield. I can't hold out no longer. When God's will is done, our children will come home. Amen. Our houses and our families will stay together. When God's will is done, amen, the church will press on toward the higher mark. Amen. That's in Christ Jesus. When his will is done. So I'm glad that his will I'm glad that it was done, y'all. Because after he got up, went through that mark, tried and started marching him up, go got the hill. And y'all know the story on that lonely journey up, go got the hill. Somebody said that, amen, they put Jesus on a purple robe. They did this to make fun of him. Because he said that he is the king of kings. And amen, he is the Lord of Lords. Yes, amen, they put a sign in front of Jesus. Yes, that sign read that he said that he is the king. But I stopped by to tell you that that's no lie, he is the king. Yes, he is the king of all kings. Yes, he is the king of President Biden. Yes, he is the king of Donald Trump. Yes, he is the king, yes, amen, of New Providence today. Yes, he is the king, amen, of Zion Grove today. He is the king, y'all, of the whole wide world. Amen, when they ran those nails through his hands and his feet. And amen, and ran that sword through Jesus' side. Y'all know they tried to kill Jesus. But I stopped by the table before they killed him, he gave up the ghost. I heard him say, Father, into your hand I commend my spirit do y'all know that Jesus died amen for a lost generation do y'all know that Jesus died amen for you and I my brother do y'all know he died amen for the whole wide world ain't God alright y'all amen when they took Jesus body off that rugged cross and put him in Joseph new tomb he laid there all night Friday night. Y'all got to understand. The disciples had saw Christ suffer on yonder's cross. They had seen Christ, amen, when he dropped his head in the locks of his shoulder. So he laid right there all day Saturday. He laid right there all night Saturday night. But like I tell Zion Grove every Sunday morning, Amen, early. Amen, before the dew hit the ground. Early. While I was still at the casino club. Amen, early, y'all. They say Jesus took off his Friday evening clothes. Fold them up nice and sent them to the side. Then he put on his Sunday morning clothes. When he got his Sunday morning clothes, he stepped out on resurrection ground. I heard him say, I got all power. You can take my power, amen, into Ashman, Georgia. You can use my power, 
Amen. And New Providence Baptist Church. I got all power. Amen. It'll go in the hospital. When the doctor shake his head, amen, you can use my power. Amen. I get the sick out of the bed. Ain't God all right, y'all. I heal all men of sickness. I got all power. Power to move you from sin to righteousness. Power to take you out of confusion and give you a sign mind. Power to give you a praying heart and not a complaining heart. I'll put running in your feet, amen, and clapping in your hands. I'll put a new song in your heart. I'll change the way you look in life. I'll do all these things for you. I got power, amen, for everybody. But, but new providence today. Today is the day. If you hear his voice, harden not your heart. We're getting ready to open the doors of the church. Whosoever will, let him come. Amen. Today is the day. And I know you heard it because, amen, God just spoke, amen, through Roderick Fowler. And I know you heard, amen, that today is today. Today is the day that you can lay your burdens at the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. Today is the day. Amen. You can get it right where have you been wrong. Today is the day you can receive the Lord Jesus as your personal Savior. Yes. And if you receive him, he'll go home with you. Yes. Can I get a witness that know that he will go home with you? Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. For that word. Thank you so much. Amen. For that word. Amen. Hallelujah. To each of you, especially, amen. From Father, to the choir, to the musician, amen. To Sister Fowler and Sister Porter, amen. To everybody that's present, thank you. Thank you for just showing up. Amen. Thank you, amen, for being in this place. And because you've been in this place, God has sent you a message. The message that God has sent you is that 
today. Today. Amen. Stop putting it off because you feel pretty good. Amen. Today is the day. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We invite you back next Sunday morning and every Sunday morning, if it's the Lord's will, to share in our worship. Amen. Amen. As we proceed to close, then any other announcements from the audience, any visitors, any visitors with an announcement. Amen. If not, thank the Lord for each of you that's present. I'm going to ask Reverend Fowler to come back with his closing remarks and benediction. Amen. I want to thank Pastor Brown and New Providence Baptist Church for their warm welcome. Amen. Amen. And their outstanding hospitality. Amen. Pastor Brown, I'm of the same mindset that you are. Amen. You allowed me to grace this sacred desk. Amen. amen. I don't take it lightly. And amen. But I thank God for you, you, and you. Amen. Give your own self a hand clap of praise. <laughs> if all hearts and minds are clear, let us please stand for our prayer and benediction. Let us bow our heads. Eternal Father, we thank you for allowing us to worship you. We thank you for the fellowship. We thank you for the songs that we heard and that the prayers that we were a part of today. We thank you for the word of God that we were exposed to today that has the power to set us free, O oh God. And now, Lord, we are asking you in Jesus' name that as we get ready to leave this place, that we don't leave your presence. We're asking that you cover each and every one of us as we travel back to our destinations. In your Son, Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Thank you.